Yes, I am Chris Kaler. And I'm Amber Fosso Kujin. And today, we're back at you guys with Wednesday, episode 3, which is Friend or. Oh, there's gonna be woe in every <laughs> title. Woe. <laughs> Friend or woe. Woe? Woe. Woe. I am French, I'm sorry. So, last episode, we. Uh, we Everybody's. About... Everyone's a suspect. Now, everyone is a suspect. Uh, Rowan. Thank you. Rowan uh, died and we tried to show the sheriff, but they didn't find a body. So we were freaking out and then Rowan showed up alive at the school, but I figured out that it was the principal who disguised herself. Like she can change her appearance and she threw off the scent of, of the sheriff. She made it look like nothing happened. I think she's doing that because she's protecting the school. But does that mean that she knows who the killer is? Because she just covered up a murder. Hmm. We'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, we we had a vision of Xavier and Rowan fighting about the whole Wednesday needs to die thing. We found the book with because on the picture that Rowan, Rowan's mother apparently drew, there was a symbol of the nightshade. Nightshade secret society. Secret society in which our parents used to be a, our parents used to be a part of it. Uh, of it. Uh, and we found we found the book with the missing page. And the other side of the drawing, which shows a guy dressed like a pilgrim. Yep. So, clue, clue, clue. Mm -hmm. uh, we know now that uh, Xavier can draw stuff and make it come to life, which mm -hmm. is suspicious. Mm -hmm. But I, I had a theory also that Bianca, who can control people with her voice when she's not wearing the necklace, could also have been the one pushing Rowan to attack Wednesday because she has a grudge and she has, uh, you know, Killer a killer instinct, which she said. Mm -hmm. uh, she also talked shit about Wednesday. So Wednesday went uh, in the team, in Enid's team, the Black Cats, for the Po Po Cup. Cup, thank you. And uh, we defeated her. Like oh, yes, we were so good. And uh, we opened up a Po statue and found the place where everyone used to reunite for the Nightshade Society. So that's pretty much what happened last episode. We also had a vision with an albino Wednesday. Oh yes, there was an albino Wednesday who said that we are the key. The key mm. to what? So uh, a lot of mysteries, a lot of questions, but it's it's taking shape and I'm excited to see what happens next. So oh, right. without further ado, let's jump in this episode and see what happens. Don't forget to subscribe you guys if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full length reaction. In the meantime, let's go. You can take the mask off, Bianca. <laughs> Wait, I preferred you with it on. How did you get down here? Rowan showed me. I mean, they had access to the book I too. I checked the watermark from the page down to the post statue. Then I solved the riddle. Wait, there's a riddle? Well, aren't you the brightest in the bunch? The Nightshades are an elite social club. We have roof parties, campouts, the occasional midnight skinny dip. So they basically get drunk and party. Are you going to have a bad time? Last I heard, the Nightshades have been disbanded. Yeah, the group kind of lost its charter 30 years ago after some normie kid died. But we have the murder with her dad? So please. What are we going to do with her? Well, add her as a member. Her parents used to be a part of it. True. I said we invited a pledge. She has a legacy. Hmm. After the crap she pulled in the poke-up, there's no way in hell. I'm not interested in joining. You're seriously turning us down? Yeah. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> Untie her. You're I not that cool. And ago. she's so badass. Of course she did. Amateurs like you who give kidnapping a bad name. <laughs> you did it wrong. Let me show you. There were so many threads to my investigation, I could weave a burial shroud. She kept the book. I have no idea how wrong this dude. But right now, nothing intrigues me more than this book. For I'm going to be responsible for Nevermore's demise. The question is, why am I sharing this apocalypse with a pilgrim? I knew it was a pilgrim. <laughs> you didn't seem surprised when I showed you this last night. You've seen it before, haven't you? It was open on Ron's desk, so I just assumed he stole it after we kicked him out of the nightshades. Then I confronted him about it, and he kind of went ballistic on me. Yeah, we saw that. against the wall with his telekinesis. How did you know that? Lucky guess. Lucky guess? <laughs> it's weird. It's weirdly specific. Like, what? what the hell is Crackstone doing in that picture with you? You know who that is? It's Joseph Crackstone. He's like Jericho's founding father. He's kind of a big deal around here. Uh -huh. yeah, or someone dressed as him. Or it's a picture of the past, but they just assume it's about today because it looks like Wednesday. Sure. Yeah. You old Padre. <laughs> Fudge is the lifeblood of our humble community, and samples equal sales. Grab a uniform and make our forefathers proud. Mm -hmm. Are these for Muslim tourists? <laughs> she handled her well yeah. for her creepiness. 
local artist scoop that fella up right here on Route 22. When someone actually goes out and collects roadkill and turns them into that. Got a whole section dedicated to these beauties. Squirrels, skunks, snakes. And my personal fave, family of ferrets at a clam bake. Oh, man. Too cute. I reckon they could use a good brush with a tangle teaser. <laughs> you must really love like the that. guy. Wednesday would have loved her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she will. She would have killed. She would have broke kill everywhere. <laughs> Heaven. Genießen Sie Ihr authentisches Pilgrimfudge aus Kakaobohnen, bezogen von den unterdrückten und Wohnern des Amazonas. Oh my God, she's authentic. Hat jemand Interesse? I'd be like, wow, girl. <laughs> Check out this greedy little freak. I need to get back to the... Oh, no. I said careful. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. Howdy, pilgrims. <laughs> Round two? Let him go. Remember what happened the last time we did this dance? I'm surprised they tried. They have heart. Oh my god. You can't get into any more trouble with my dad. Wait! So much vomit. Yep. Yeah. Yes. It's good to have Wednesday as a friend. <laughs> Thank you for your generous donation to my re-election campaign. Mm. Consider it a token of our ongoing cooperation. Suspicious. Apparently, everyone is off to their assignments, and so far, no incident. I'd like you to meet Marilyn Thornhill. She's Nevermore's first normie teacher. <laughs> Have we met before? Not officially, but I see you in here every morning. Miss Thornhill, please keep me posted. Especially about a certain pigtailed upstart. Maybe it's as innocent as I pay a lot of money, so he oh, stays mayor and he doesn't bother us. Huh? Mm, but suspicious. I'm not sure what secret Crackstone is hiding, but I have a strange feeling the answers to my future Maybe the staff is magic. The staff? Mm hmm The old meeting house. 1625. Is she there? Oh, by no Wednesday! I said it was the past! She's even holding the same book. That black one she had outside Crackstone's crib. If she wasn't a normie and they were like, burn the witch, they would have gone after her. That's Latin for Book of Shadows. Thank you. Brit. It's a fake. It's I don't know who Betty is, but I doubt she was an outcast settler. <laughs> Just what the fudge are you doing in here, <laughs> Missy? Fudge. Mr. Sterling. I told her the doors unlocked and you were dying to learn more about Crackstone. Yes. And this display case was already open. <laughs> of course it was. That looks like the original was stolen last month during the two o'clock witch trial. It's probably the only authentic thing you have in here. Hold thy tongue. <laughs> She's really the keeping up the, the character. The original meeting house. The one shown in that painting. Where is it? How the hell should I know? I only moved here from Scottsdale in April. <laughs> but we have a way. We have a, a path to follow. We have a lead. A lead. Thank you. I was looking for the word. Can I help you? For a sec, he kind of looked like a Woody Allison. <laughs> you they stole something! Oh, that gives me the heebie-jeebies. Mm. I don't know. Do you think squirrels and rats could ever work out? I mean, they're two totally different species. Oh, he's he talking about himself oh, and yeah. her. Why not? They both have more in common. What about the species think. again? Most people are scared yes, of them, so it would just be us, them, against <laughs> the world. <laughs> She's oh. not subtle at all, though. That was like the longest conversation we've ever had. <laughs> Gorgons are taught not to engage. A Gorgon. I, I don't want to accidentally stone someone. So that's what's hiding under all this hair. Thanks. I was thinking of sneaking behind the greenhouse tonight. It's supposed to be a blue moon. Should get a killer view from there. Hey, have fun. <laughs> Dude. By the way, cool. you know that's where a lot of kids go to hook up, right? Yeah. I mean, it could get home. Ajax. I have spent all morning flirting and hinting and trying to act cute while brushing some roadkill just so you would ask me on a freaking date. <laughs> oh. oh. You are dumb. I, you want to meet up behind the greenhouse tonight? Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Is the definition hey, of the meme or is like... Can you help me move the 
is he thinking about that thing that happened? He's just like, what did Mario say? <laughs> you want coffee? Maxie here for Tyler. Told you he was bad news. Twice. But who I speak to is my business. Maybe tell us what happened if you know. That would be interesting. You know the original Pilgrim meeting house? Do you know if it's still around? What's left of it is out in Cobham Woods, but it's pretty much a ruin. Show me. Squatters and meth heads use that place as a crash pad. My dad has to clear it out every couple weeks. Like the guy who stole the camera? You're really becoming obsessed with this whole monster in the woods thing. Would you rather I develop an obsession with horses and boy bands? Thank you for the help. Hmm. Touché. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> People are fucking crazy. She's a little girl. And she was an Adam. Makes sense. It is you, Joseph Grockstone, that should be tried. We were here before you, but you have stolen the land. Love the accent. You are the true monster, all of you. Monster. They're gonna burn them Patriot style. Oh, and we need to die with a scar on his face. If his staff is somehow magical, if he somehow managed to survive this whole time, or if his descendants are still around. I'm again narrowing it down. This monster is either Xavier or or her friend, who's the sheriff's son. They're the right. only ones. Yeah, they're the only ones who knew she was here. And he's turning human. <laughs> Monstrous human. What the hell are you doing? Mm. I was following the monster. You saw it? What exactly are you doing here? I overheard you say you were checking out the old meeting house. I guess it's lucky I showed up when I did. I did learn one thing. The monster is human. His hair is not wet, so it, I don't think it's him then. He has an umbrella. Yeah, but the monster didn't have an umbrella. I saw. Yeah, and you were trying to use your psychic abilities, right? What makes you think I have any? Mm. Lucky guess. My dad's a psychic. And the first thing they'll tell you is that psychic visions can't be trusted. They only show you one part of the picture. Something bad is going to happen and I need to stop it. Starting with that monster. Whoever it is. I think she's suspicious too. <laughs> she should be. It could be a descendant. It could just be the idea of a normie going against the outcast. People who think they're right by getting rid of the people that are I different. I don't believe in heaven or hell, but I do believe in revenge. Show us your talent. <laughs> he doesn't deserve to be celebrated, so bam. <laughs> oh, the statue itself, fuck. <laughs> but I mean, this is the angle ambiance, right? You want something uplifting? Here you go. Well, he wants to burn us, so we'll, we'll burn him. Why does this town even have an outreach day? Don't you know it's real history with outcasts? I do. Then why be complicit in its cover up? Well, you see, do. I see opportunity. If you're unwilling to fight for the truth, you don't think I want the truth? But the world isn't always black and white. There are shades of gray. Maybe for you. But it's either they write our story or we do. You can't have it both ways. Both of them have yes. good points. I I'm starting to, you know, suspect that this is not her true form and that she's hiding who she truly is. It could also be a thing. There's a reason why she she's covering so much stuff, why she manipulates the mayor. Photos, we got photos. We need that camera. You wanted some proof? I know. There you go. Hmm. 
I've been thinking that she had a bigger role to play than just like the quirky teacher that doesn't yeah. know shit. The mayor did recognize her and then she went up with, oh, I mean, I see you drinking. Like, I think it's more than that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is such a dangerous power. She's gonna think he won't. She said it was temporary, so it's not still. Goody Adam's warnings about Crackstone were in the past. And the monster is here in the present. Three coincidences that I know are connected. Well, she has a grudge against our mom. I told mm. ya. Might not be uh, all of uh, Sunshine and Rainbows. Why? Because she was more popular? Is it more than that? It's a good. Because we're gonna learn about it's it. It's a really good uh, cover. Yeah. I'm gonna do a Chris and I'm gonna add it to my playlist. Wait, she's the one that makes the roadkill little things? Yeah. Oh fuck. And she's a psychologist. Well, it's Dana, she's a serial killer. Yeah. That monster could be anyone. <laughs> we all have our own secrets. I love that. I think this is what they're telling us, yeah? The What's his secret? The exist behind the walls of this school. The truth is, there are monsters everywhere. Issues. He's keeping something and inside him. The monsters we really suspect are the most dangerous. <laughs> they hide in the shadows until no one is looking. Mm. And then they mm. What are you hiding? Your monster? And his hands are full of paint and shit? Show me. Show me the monster. Here's yeah. your proof. Damn. Betsy Gia. But now... <laughs> now there's not much stopping him from going after the school. Putting the blame on Nevermore. Yeah. Uh-huh, yeah. uh -huh, it's mm. really getting good. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking a lot of my theories were in the right park. Yeah. Ballpark. Mm-hmm. I will say... Xavier just came out of a shed with wounds and his hand full of paint. We know that when he draws creatures, it and you can squash him, and then there's you know the the residue of the 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 pencil or the paint yeah. that he used that does that. I did say the creature looked cartoonish. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking again that it could be him. Still. There was another monster in the woods that followed Wednesday and turned into a human. So I'm thinking maybe there's a lot more than just one monster. And we, <laughs> you know, to think that there's just one is throwing us off. Because uh -huh. the one that was there when she was there and followed her and turned into a human, I don't think it can be Xavier. Because, yes, he did show up right after. Mm -hmm. But how could he have dressed, you know... He, that means he changed and he, he wasn't, you know... Uh, the wet from wet from the the rain and stuff. So I'm thinking the one that followed Wednesday, not the one in the photo, not the one that killed, uh, you know the 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 homeless guy. Mm -hmm. The one that followed her would have been Ryan. Okay. So I'm thinking that's his secret. He was in the shower, right? You know, he was you know in in, in his in little the bath. In his bath. Sorry, he was in the bath and he was screaming. He's holding something inside. He's at odds with his dad. He keeps. He, he tried to stop him from investigating the school too much. So I'm thinking he's not the one that attacked Rowan or something, but he's got something himself. I did say you know there was a reason why he switched from perhaps persecuting the outcasts to suddenly being fine with them. So I'm thinking. He could be a monster. He could have been turned. Okay. And he's the one that followed Wednesday to the woods to see, you know, what was going on or to protect her or to whatever. And, and he's the one that turned back into a human. I'm thinking this is him. The one that attacks people could have been... Because I'm thinking there is a monster drawn by Ryan that he uses to do whatever. Drawn? You mean Xavier? Uh, Xavier, sorry. Yeah, Xavier. I think he drew a monster... I think he could have drawn the monster that killed Rowan, and if 
because I mean, could be one or the other. Could have been, you know, uh, Ryan could have been his monster. But in the end, the guy who killed the homeless guy, I think it's Ryan's monster, uh, Xavier's monster. Okay. If it's not, there's still two monsters out there, I think. Because okay. there was a monster in that shed. He got hurt and he got rid. He had to get rid of it. I think that's how he got hurt, and that's why he has paints on his uh, on his hands. Okay. So I think there's a monster with him, and I think that Ryan has that going for him as well. They're the only two who knew Wednesday was in the woods. The only two. Just saying. Well, you know, so it's not just saying. <laughs> like, for you, it's just funny to see me scramble. <laughs> yes, it is. But, again, I'm not letting go of my theory that Bianca may have something to do with this because there's a reason why the girl who hates Wednesday has the power to control people. Mm-hmm. She, and I mean, I don't see that necklace often, so I don't know. Could be hidden, but I didn't see the necklace today. There's a reason why, like, she's involved, she's, you know, she's, she's against us, she's the one we need to surpass, and she has that power specifically. So oh, wow. I'm not letting go of the idea that no matter what's going on with everyone, it, it, there's always a chance that she controls the person, or she okay. controlled people to make them do what they want. Um, Why do you think the, the Joseph Crackstone and the Goody Adams come into play in this? Is it all related or is it two separate uh, storyline? I think it's all related. Either, you know, I mean, if, if uh, Xavier's dad said that we can't really trust visions, I'm assuming that what we saw really happened that you know the found founder of of the the settlement Jericho, really attacked yeah. yeah really attacked the the ones that were there first so the the the, the outcast I'll call them the outcast I am wondering if either because I mean the thing is he could have been one of them and he saved his skin by selling them out she said he was the monster she said that you know he should have been tried. Uh, it's true that, you know, he's a monster because of what he did, you know, as a pilgrim. Could have, could have been. Yeah, he's a pilgrim, so he stole, you know, their home and he persecuted them. And all of that stuff about the... It's not a witch trial, but sort of, like... All that stuff about witch trial that we hear about, it's not technically true. That's not how it happened in, in real life. But oh. in this story, it's literally how it happened. So people, you know, burning alive because they were different. Because they didn't adhere to the vision of that Christian, 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 Christianity had yeah. of the amazing citizen that follows the rules and does what they want. So whenever you went against the church or against, you know, uh, even the government and stuff, people would go after you and burn you as a witch because you're not, you know, you're a monster, you were not created by God. So that, that whole ideology is fucking monstrous. And even though I know, because I read a little bit about it, and I know we hear about which is burning on pyres, but apparently uh, no one actually burned on pyres. Uh, maybe in Europe. Some people. Not maybe. in Salem, though. A, a little. Some people maybe, but I, I, I think I learned. I, I read that the witch trials that we think happened wasn't like that at all. It was more like trials, and and it was more like you know, not this, well. I mean, a lot of women for sure, but not. It wasn't so much about being witches. It was more political. I'm not sure about that, but for the benefit... For, did, for, did, did, did you watch the whole video about it, where they tried to uh, put a point and link uh, stuff that happened to... I've seen some uh, stuff. To uncover the truth, well, the sort of, a sort of tr uh, truth about it. I've seen some stuff, but I don't quite remember everything. I just remember that it wasn't... Mm -hmm. It wasn't exactly like we thought it was, like, yeah. oh, women were doing, you know, witchcraft in the woods or using herbs to create medicine and stuff. Like, it was more political. It was more about, yeah. you know... Well, I mean, the video that we did saw, explain, for example, pe humans are greedy. You want to have some uh, some land, some riches. Just say call that you Call them witches. And you got it. Yeah. You got a grudge against someone because someone... Uh, married another guy or another woman from another family, call them witches, you mm. know, stuff like that. Really good video. I don't remember the name, but really good video. <laughs> but in any case, it's just, it's shitty and people are shitty. And of course, like anyone, especially like 
in the, back in those days when religion was so freaking intense and that's all they swore by and no one was really no one really had mm. a thought a, a genuine original thought it was all based off of what they were being told when and I mean when your life conduct is based on what a book is telling you like people people are preaching you uh, life behaviors that if you don't go by you're gonna end up in hell and not just that it's the fact that people would take the book and take liberties with the book and yeah. interpret it a certain way and use that for power so it was a shitty time and and the ones that suffered from it of course were the ones that were different the ones that didn't fit with the with the, the description of the perfect little christian So it's fucked up. It didn't really surprise me that it that in the show like they used that to make it a backstory. So I'm thinking it could have happened definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact that it's literally Wednesday's face, I'm like, <laughs> it, I mean, it's so it's a wink that she's an Adam, so she's like her her ancestor. ancestor. The thing about the you know not to trust vision made me wonder if it was maybe just a metaphor for something that was about to happen, like. The fight of the normies versus the outcasts. Well, Xavier did say that his dad, the specialist, said to not trust the vision because they are uh, controlled or projected by yeah. emotions. So it's not so much the first pilgrim versus, you know, the, well, her, her ancestor. It's more like the first pilgrim's ideology and what he represents and the people that follow his ideology versus what we represent as outcasts and and nevermore as a whole so the people of of nevermore the the creatures mm -hmm. i'm thinking this is more of that because if okay. it's that if it ha i mean even if it happened back then and if it has to happen again either it's the ideology or somehow like i said uh, earlier the first pilgrim was a creature and he could survive he survived and he's still alive today which makes me question the principle <laughs> but i'm like you think <laughs> you think that the true appearance of the principle Mrs. that would have been so Dream fucked up is the first pilgrim i'm not no i'm saying the and idea crossed my mind about him? i'm saying the idea crossed my mind mm -hmm. because there's a reason why she is so you know she she's so intent on helping the relations the relations between you know normies and outcasts mm -hmm. there's a reason why she's covering up murders there's a reason why she manipulates the mayor i think you know manipulating the mayor makes sure that no one bothers the school but there could be more and she can change her appearance that's significant the fact that she can change her appearance could mean that she's not looking like that all the time that this is not her true appearance even the principal's appearance you know it could be a disguise But uh, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that maybe <laughs> it would have been it would be yeah. interesting if the first pilgrim was an outcast and he tried to save his skin All right. by putting the blame on other people, and then later on maybe he felt bad and he tried to you know uh, correct it, change things. But I don't know. That would be interesting. So he would still be around, just not be the true villain that Wednesday thinks mm. he is. Well, I mean, from what we just saw, it's easy for People seem to be uh, really straight, like really uh, inoffensive, to have their to have their own secrets. Everyone has secrets. Yeah. Like uh, the psychiatrist, who's he, who's the one who go and check all those road kills and make all the little display. It's <laughs> creepy but cute. I mean, it's creepy. People do that, and it's a thing. It's just that. I personally, especially with like some people do that with their pets, and I personally would imagine doing that to my cats. Like this is just to me, this is weird. But I understand that for some people, it's art and it's mm -hmm. a thing, and it's totally fine. Uh, so, but but yeah, for her to be like this, this image of the perfect little woman who you know is all straight, all dressed in beige and and all clean, but that's her hobby. Mm -hmm which would be considered creepy by by a lot of people and and that fits more with the Wednesday persona it's interesting <laughs> because yeah you never know someone's yeah. true character and like you just saw so the principal uh, is Wayne that's her name right the principal and yeah, the principal 
she has a grudge against Mark Tisha, by the way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that what you wanted to say, Sonny? Mm -hmm. uh, that could mean that she's out to get us. But why does she have a grudge against her mother? I mean, something happened. And I was saying in the episode, like, back when th all of that happened, everyone who's an adult in this show used, was a kid. So they were all involved. They kind of all knew each other, sort of. Mm -hmm. They know what happened, but again, they don't know. The sheriff is hell-bent on, you know, f pointing the finger at Nevermore, blaming them. So I'm thinking he might have known the victim, who was a normie, they said. Or he was involved somehow, and he's putting the blame on, on Gomez. I think he might, I mean, his prejudices are taking over. I don't know how, what happened and stuff, but they were all involved, but and they were all around. So everyone is a suspect for what happened back then. It could have been the mayor who was like shit trying to cover up for something. Could have been the normie, like I said, like, who who did the, the thing, but now everyone and is put blaming the, blame on the, the on outcast. outcast. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. This is episode three. Uh, we're almost halfway, <laughs> halfway through. And the thing is, uh, my brain is overworking. So I'm thinking like 20 steps ahead. I'm trying to point the finger at everyone. I could be way wrong. Or, you know, going places where, where when in fact it's way easy. It, it's way, you know, it's easier simpler. Than yeah. But I don't care. It's, I think it's fun to, to guess. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, on the more, you know... No, sorry, I, I can't find the word, but on a more you know technical technical level, okay. uh, the, it's still the same commentary. The show looks really good. The acting is really good, and the music this episode the covers was, are just so great. Yeah, the whole creepy vibe, and I love that you know as much as Tim Burton has a style that I enjoy, I love that he it's kind of bit, stepped back a little uh, bit, toned down, right? It's a, it's toned down, I think, but I think it's great because it doesn't take away from the story and the original creepy vibe of the Adams family like we already have that so there's a bit of there's a bit of Tim Burton touch in there but it's not so much it's, it's not so intense that we're just like oh it's definitely a Tim Burton TV show what I mean the old Tim Burton vibe will be pretty much with uh, the Nevermore costumes like the, the stripes style, the style of the tree too the style of the tree you could sell so maybe the little not put together but like the Jericho town who seems to be like an old countryside town like a little bit um, yeah but like I'm, when I say he kind of took a it's like he took a step back I mean the characters don't look all dead and or dreary <laughs> yeah there's but, a lot of color there's I, a lot I, of happiness I hope so because only the family had supposed to be looking like that yeah, but that's the thing like since we needed to drive the point of Wednesday being dark and, and different from a lot of people it's not like everyone is gloomy and dark like there's a lot of color there's a lot of happiness going on and so like if he had done way too much, like if he had really went all in with his style, I think it would have taken away from the cinematography of the whole thing and the message behind uh, Wednesday's character and how she interacts with people. But uh, yeah. Oh, speaking about characters and people, Enid in oh, and yeah, I, uh, it's Ajax. Just, <laughs> it's, it's just fucking sad, but he's daft. Like he's not... He's not, you know, the brightest when it comes to people <laughs> and relationships. So I'm hoping he'll go and explain. Yeah. I fear that he might think that this is no big deal and be like, ah, yeah, like, fuck off, move on. But I don't think he's, he's mean or anything. So I think he truly cares. that they, they were both insinuating shit when they talked about the roadkill and, and the species. If different and, species can be together. Mm -hmm. So Which sometimes could be a huge problem with families, you know. Yeah, but uh, for them too, I hope it works. And now she's mean, like she's mad, like she her wolf came out for a sec. But um, give him time to explain, and I hope he's intel he's you know bright enough to to understand that this hurt her, and she needs to you know you need to make it up to her, even if it was an accident. <laughs> it sucks to have that power, by the way. Yeah, Damn. always need to be careful about the, your reflection. I mean, you said it was temporary, which good thing because mm -hmm. damn. I would be constantly worried of either, you know, killing myself or killing someone else. 
In any case, so right. yeah, so this was episode three. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next two episodes right away, they are on Patreon already. You can check them out. The link is in the description below. And if, if you prefer to kill yourself for it, just wait one week and watch this next episode. Okay? Yes. Just wait. Bye. See you then. <laughs>